Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I am making chili and I'm trying to make it for two since we are empty nesters. And I'll know if I've succeeded if I'm able to make it in a smaller pan. So we're going to start with the smaller pan and brown the ground beef. So here we're browning the ground beef with a little bit of minced garlic and we're going to chop up an onion. I like to use a sweet onion. Toss that in and brown it until it's translucent. Then we're going to add chili beans, drained red kidney beans, these pork and beans by Showboat. That is a go-to for me. And Hunt's tomato sauce. Must haves for my favorite chili. So we're gonna add the beans one at a time. Add the chili beans, and I keep the sauce that it came with. But for the kidney beans, I drain them. And then we're gonna add some seasonings. I like mine spicy hot, so a little cayenne pepper, cilantro, I usually throw in some Tabasco sauce to taste. A little bit of sugar to sweeten the tomato sauce. Chili powder, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder if you want more, and ground black pepper, and some sea salt. And I just eyeball it. I add a little bit of each of these seasonings to taste and stir well and keep it simmering the whole time. And we did it. It is in the smaller pan. And I'm just gonna cover it with this strainer and let it simmer for a while. It is delicious. I don't know about you guys, but my husband and I are huge fans of chili. It is definitely one of our go-to comfort foods in the winter. We like to serve it with um, a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, diced onion, uh, crackers crumbled up on top. It is so good and filling. It's easy to make and it usually lasts two days. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. How do you like to make your chili or what do you like to serve on it? Thank you.